never go hiking with a bird photographer. It sucks. One day, I really want to get to the end of this trail. 11.2 miles there and back. Moderate, according to the trail map. It should take us about 4 hours and 53 minutes. As usual, we've already made three stops heading up the mountain. We can't help ourselves. Coyotes, deer, ravens, it doesn't matter. We stop for everything. All right, at the trailhead. Is this the day? Is this the day we make it to the end? We typically start the journey with real intent. Where are they? That is, of course, until we hear or see that first bird. Get out. 11.2 miles. It's not like we're not capable of making the trip. We see the other hikers. They walk or hike with a sense of purpose. Unburdened, prepared for the trail ahead. I wouldn't say we are unburdened. Prepared? Yeah, certainly. Prepared with high megapixel, high frame rate, mirrorless marvels. More importantly, we know how to use them. Well, sort of. The bird flew away. Dang it! I don't. Uh, it's just annoying. I like this is ruined my. <laughs> What, uh, what what ruined what? This camera ruined my whole experience. Why? What happened? Because I saw that robin and I should have just been looking at it and having a good time. Instead, I was trying to get a picture of it with this stupid thing. Robin was tucked in behind a bunch of stuff up there, but my settings were all right. If it was in the clear, it would have been fine. You just, he's so tucked in there. I don't mean to brag, but the Z9 just grabbed it immediately. To be clear, I've photographed American robins hundreds of times. Hell, I saw one in the front yard when we left this morning. Like I said, we can't help ourselves. It's like a compulsion. We can't just walk past something pretty. We have to document it in slow motion. Flowery stuff is pretty. I want to see more flowers. Oh, and that's just the start. Once we notice something pretty or picture-worthy, we slow down and look even closer. I start imagining what it would be like if a chickadee landed on that pretty stick. I start noticing the rays of sunlight leaking down through the forest canopy. And we listen. Moderate hike, 11.2 miles, 4 hours and 53 minutes. At this point, we are currently two hours into our hike and I doubt we've made it a mile. I think it was Jimmy Buffett who said life is a journey that's measured not in miles or years, but in experiences. Yeah, he might be onto something. We haven't made it very far, but this has been one hell of an experience. Well, there it is. According to the trail map, we haven't come very far. Decision time, press on or turn back. 
I'm going to think about it while I photograph these mountain flowers. One day I'm certain we'll make it to that rock. I'm sure it's beautiful. A grand monument begging to be admired. I'm sure it is. It's hard to miss. You can see that rock from anywhere in the valley. But these flowers, those chickadees and chipmunks, you can't just look up and see these flowers. You have to slow down. You have to look close. So yeah, never go hiking with a bird photographer. It sucks. We're weighed down with too much equipment and we move too slow. And of course, we never make it to our destination. I may never see that rock. Eh, maybe. One day. I think it's funny when Josh makes plans. Let's face it, the only real plan is to go out and photograph birds. For example, I know when Josh says, let's go to the canyon, he really means, let's go photograph wrens. This place is crawling with wrens. Canyon wrens in the cliffs and rock wrens down below. We always hear the canyon wrens long before we see them. I've never understood how people can just keep on walking when they hear that song. I stop in my tracks and start searching for the source of the music. Where are you, little bird? Josh is better at identifying birds by their song than I am. He gets obsessed, honestly. Me, not so much. I like to slow down, really look around. I try to take it all in. I make a sincere effort to appreciate my surroundings. Studies have shown that expressing appreciation can improve the quality of your life. Appreciation and gratitude go hand in hand. Gratitude is the emotion we feel, and showing appreciation is the action. For me, Appreciation can be as simple as smiling and clapping my hands with glee because I found something I was looking for. It's allowing yourself to show delight over the little things. It may feel silly, childlike perhaps. I embrace those feelings. I long for the feeling of wonder I felt as a child. I've found that I'm more cheerful when I search for things to smile about. I'm energized when I'm outside. I'm more focused. I can think clearly and reflect on the things that matter most. Josh seems to focus his energy into photography. I see him get that look in his eye. A familiar sense of urgency I've seen a thousand times. I appreciate his persistent need to document everything. His need to get into position and find the perfect scene really slows us down. 
I love that. So yeah, never go hiking with photographers. It sucks. That is assuming you have a destination. But if you don't mind slowing down and taking it all in, come take a hike with us. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>